Hello, everybody. My name is John Pujol. I am the CEO of Simple Lab, and I wanted to walk you through an exciting new tool we have to help look up water quality data at any address across the United States. It's really easy to do. You go to gosimplelab.com, create an account. It's free. You can sign in and you can click data tools on the top of your screen and then water quality search. And we're going to use this tool to look up water quality data at any address across the USA. It's private. It's anonymous. You're not getting the exact water quality data at the address. Only way to do that is to test the water at the address, which of course we do as well. This is a way of getting a kind of zoomed out picture of the neighborhood, average water quality data in that neighborhood. So. First thing you do when you click data tools and then water quality search is you come to a page like this and there's going to be two options. Start by typing in an address. So I figured we'd start with uh, Brad Pitt's new address. He lives in Los Angeles. And I uh, did a little bit of Googling. He lives at 5769 Briarcliff Road. I am sorry, Brad Pitt, if um, water filtration professionals start harassing you. Um, I figure you're already used to it and have accounted for this sort of thing. You have two choices below here, water source, utility, or groundwater. I, I, to be honest, I don't know if Brad Pitt has his water from um, uh, Los Angeles water utility or if it's from uh, a private well. I'm going to go ahead and say utility. I could, of course, switch this to groundwater or surface if the water source were different. Then I'm going to click search. I'm going to make sure to include Los Angeles. All right, here we go. Brad Pitt's house. So if you look at the map on the top, you see uh, a, an outline of the water utility in question. And here we've got LA City Department of Water. Now, there are many utilities that could be serving a particular address. And so you have the option here to choose one of the other available utilities at that address in case it's uh, guessed incorrectly by the system. Our goal here is to prepare a water quality report that summarizes the nearby water quality data around Brad Pitt's house. So before we go ahead and click share, and send it to you know Brad or um, someone in Brad's life uh, who might care to buy water filtration or uh, a softener or some other kind of appliance that depends on water quality. Before we share this report, let's take a look at what it's gonna be. We've confirmed the, the utility name. We've looked and seen there's no violations of the MCL by the utility. The average lead level is very low. The number of people served. You can get information here on the type of disinfectant that is uh, used by the utility system. You can even download the CCRs, recent CCRs. Um, but I'm going to show you why those CCRs, which we've all conventionally used for kind of quick glimpses of a community water system, why this is a little bit better um, of a tool, more helpful of a tool for seeing the water quality data. See, there's two columns here. There's at the utility and there's at the tap. And what we're going to do is we're going to see these columns repeated over and over again this is data that is recorded by the utility, sent to the state for compliance purposes. And this is data at the tap. This is data collected by businesses and consumers and different people in the area at their kitchen taps. And they do tell you a different story. Sometimes one of them will have a data point and the other one will not. Other times they both might have data points and those data points might differ. Why? Well, a lot happens between the water utility and the actual kitchen tap. And this helps illuminate that. Now, you have a bunch of contaminants listed. In fact, you can click filter here and you can choose different types of contaminants. We might want to focus on lead and heavy metals only, in which case I would choose lead and heavy metals only. We might wanna look at disinfection byproducts from chlorine and chloramine disinfection. You can look at everything at once, rare and exotic stuff, things that we think need more testing um things that are important for children's health you can cut and splice this in a bunch of different ways here's pfas one thing is for sure all test data shows everything and it's never a bad place to start now compare to we might want to see this data compared against different measures of of of, of risk or danger Right. So the most conservative measure is this MCLG. This is this is the concentration that the government, the federal government usually is saying like this is there is no risk at this concentration. OK, so these are very, very low concentrations. So oftentimes any detection of a mildly dangerous contaminant will be above the MCLG. 
but you may instead want to be a little more practical and reasonable with your goals and say, hey, I only care about the actual enforceable contaminant level risk concentrations, the MCLs, the maximum contaminant levels that the utilities are uh, accountable for reaching. Furthermore, you might want to look at averages. I want to compare this utility's water quality data to the average state uh, result across California. I want to compare it nationwide. I want to look at bottled water. Here, let me pull up some data here that is a little bit more easy to compare. Okay, copper, zinc, barium, molybdenum, uranium. Okay, you can compare the utility to the nation, to bottled water, to the state. You can also look at the detection frequency. How often are these things detected? Now, all of this information can be clicked into. You can look at the arsenic level at taps. You can look at the arsenic level at water utility detections. You can read about it some more if you'd like. Detection frequency at the tap is 66%. Detection by the utility is 14%. Once you're comfortable with the report you've prepared, your next move is going to be to share the report. You might want to download the CCR, but frankly, what I'm trying to portray here is how much more value you get out of a digital report that's clickable and interactable and, and really can teach someone a little bit about the contaminants in their area. You'll click share. We're going to confirm that we've got the right water utility. We're going to confirm that we want to show health impact as the main compare to. And we're going to show all test data. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to write a little note. It says, uh, hello, Mr. Pitt. Is it two P's or one? I Embarrassed, I don't, I don't actually know. Hello, Mr. Pitt. Um, your water in your new neighborhood. Take a look and let me know if you want an, let's see, under sink RO. Okay, now this is a demo account, so I don't have my logo, but you would have your logo then popping up right here. You would then have your website. Let's say your website was uh, www.bestfilterever.com and uh, buy now. Here we go, we have a report. We're gonna hit next and it's gonna create a custom link that I can stick in my email or send in a text message um, to Brad Pitt. I of course don't have his email or text, so I'm not going to, uh, or phone number, so I'm not gonna send it to him, but you're gonna have to imagine if I copy this, and I send it in an email to Brad Pitt, he will then see something like this, paste. He will come directly into the report we have prepared with him, the logo, the button, the comment, and all the data. And you can go a step further in your relationship. You can go on to tell him, hey, you, you might want a water conditioner. You may not need a water conditioner. Uh, you might want uh, reverse osmosis under the kitchen sink or a carbon filter for the whole home. Whatever configuration makes more sense will make more sense if you and your customer or your teammates, your colleagues are all looking at the same data. And that's what we're trying to do here. There's a bunch of options in here. I'm not going to show it all to you right now, but I just want to invite you into creating a, a simple lab account. It's really easy. Take a look at this information. And uh, let us know if you have any questions about it or ways to improve it. It's, it's here to help. It's here to help provide transparency and um, uh, a useful starting off point when asking the question, hey, what's the water like at this address? So thanks for watching. 